Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. Alright, this game's getting really interesting, I've got to tell you. It's really getting really, really interesting. Because, like I think I was saying before, I'm really having to think very, very, very carefully about how I approach the long-term strategic considerations of the game in tandem with how I build my regime. I've got a bit of an issue here. This uh, These guys jumped in here and made a new zone in Manti, and it's taken my agriculture building away, which is kind of annoying. I, I, I don't like that, because what I've got to do now is I'm going to have to get a governor in there so that I can then merge the zone. It's not something I've ever done. So I just had a quick look at how to do it, and I think I figured it. So we're going to do that. Let's First of all, though, we are going to attack these guys here. Now, which force have we got that is going to be the best suited? Now, we've got a techno mage in um, these two groups. We've got the first Port, Mor uh, Port Royal. No, they're no good. Got a musical band here. Every combat round can regain up to 15 morale points. I think what we'll do is we'll just attack with a bunch of them. Uh, we're getting a massive stacking penalty though. Let's send one of the ones with the, with the Techno Mage in first. So, yeah, it's going to be these guys. Uh, this, this is the, the second Light Infantry Brigade. So, let's get the second just tucking in. Well, the techno mages basically, yeah, is giving them a penalty to their attack. So they were, they'd be, a, they'd be a good option, you know, for a scouting mission anyway. We actually managed to push them back, which is just what we wanted. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move these guys out into positions where they can kind of take over. Um, I'm actually gonna move some of these down a little bit, down a little bit, and round. Down a little bit, round a little bit, just so that we uh, we're covering covering this coastline and our logistics chain. Yeah, we can't go any further up that way, and it's going to be expensive getting a road through here, and I don't really want to. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll try and push these guys off. But we've done that. We've actually now getting a dirt road in here. Okay, we can't do that because we've just conquered the hex. So it's going to take a little while for us to kind of, I guess, you've got your troops, they've got to, they've got to secure the mountains, make sure everybody's out, and, you know, gain control of this in an administrative fashion. I guess that's how we're going to look at it. Okay. Um, all right, what else can we do this time? First, we need to look at the VidCon, because you guys are not seeing that. So, in one turn, the, the effects of the Decade of Revolution will start diminishing. We failed the demand to increase our BP assets. Okay, that's my fault. Uh, we acquired a new zone, Manti. Discovered rocketry, discovered a model type flat gun, and we've discovered deep core mining. And there's a commercial project here, which is pretty useful, maybe. Uh, I, I don't want Manti as a zone, so what we got to do, we're going to need a governor in here. Let's, and it's, the thing is, it's going to be a governor that we're going to immediately remove. So let's just get any old, any old crap. In fact, this is going to be a governor that I really don't want to upset. Oh, look, this guy's really good. Capability two, but look. Um, okay, so we've appointed him, and then we need to call him immediately. And we're going to say, I'm sorry, we're going to merge, merge the zone. So, cannot say I'm happy to lose my post, but what are your exact orders for Manti? Now, we're going to merge it into Port Royal. Uh, oh, 58 political points. That sucks, man. Yeah, that sucks. And we've, look, I think we're going to have to get this asset. Um, can't delegate it. Yeah, okay, I've, I've got, I've got, I've got a bit of a complaint about this. I don't know if Vic's watching, but yeah, I didn't like that, how they just came in and immediately put a zone up. I mean, I, I know, I think really they shouldn't be able to put a zone up on the first turn. Like, is there any way that we can make it so that, you know, you get a turn to respond before they just bang a zone up on your only farm? Because <laughs> that's really irritating. That's bugged me. <laughs> um, let's get a... Where have we got... Yeah, let's, I think what we'll do is we'll get a dirt road out here. Temperature looks good for farming. So let's just get a farm up here. We're going to have to build another farm. Which I didn't really want to have to do. But let's get an agricultural facility up. Yes, sir. Um, we are gonna, we're running out of power, by the way. So this is... We're still in dire straits. Now, 
let me show you how close we are to getting the look at this i've just had bad luck this is kind of getting to the point where i'm just getting bad luck now we've had pretty much everything except we've got he heavy industry solar energy university and power plant so it's got to come soon i don't think it's you know i don't think we're going to have a catastrophic failure here but it's not i mean it's not particularly it's not particularly good look like, yeah, we can't get a dirt ready now. I've already established that. I think what we're going to do is try and get this mine up in port, um, port, sorry, uh, in light thermal. But uh, yeah, we've got it. We've got to get. We've got to get a power plant of some kind up first. Whichever one we can get first, I'll build, and then we can always build. We can build two. All right. Military Research Council task priorities. Yeah, we're not we're not researching anything at the moment. What we could do is we could go down. We could go and research something in. It doesn't really matter now. It doesn't really matter. Maybe high speed machine gun. Um, in which case, let's call this guy. RPG advanced sensors is nice. Let's just get the high speed machine gun up because that's a that's a good one. We want that up as soon as possible. Uh, model design, I'm not really bothered about. We're not really using it at the moment. Um, so. We can set a design target. They're, they've not got any funding though. And I need the funding to go into the Economic Council. Um, so we, we'll just get an APC up. Actually, I might wait. Um, Anti-tank gun. Yeah, why not? Let's get one of these up. We'll just get. We'll just go for a big, uh, high, high-value one, just in case we need something with a lot of gunpowder on it. If we do end up fighting someone and they turn up with loads of light tanks and we can make a smaller one at you know, short notice. Okay, now we've got the Applied Sciences Council. There's loads of these and these are really, really useful. Mining techniques might be worth going into. Ice mining I don't care about. Personal armor optimization is really good. Uh, that is really good. So, and then we've got communication techniques and sanitation programs. So this, this is going to help your quality of life basically. Um, I think we don't think we have health. Yeah, we haven't got hospitals yet. But communic communication techniques might work. I think that's going to help the vidcom stations that we've got. If I remember right? Uh, this, uh, this tech will improve entertainment in your zones. That's right, and then that one improves health in your zone. So, I think we'll go for that one. Yeah, let's call him. And we're going to research into communication techniques. Quality of life is going to be pretty important, I think. And we'll just keep it on no change. We'll do 50-50 mix. Military Research Council task priorities. Again, these guys aren't researching anything, I don't think. Yeah, I stopped them. Um, I stopped them researching anything. Now, what is there to uh, to uncover? military research nothing so we either defund it or we go and research something hmm i oh, know i'm an idiot i've already set that let's just set this at uh 50 percent merge man to interrupt right, okay we can't do this one here and um, we can't do that until we've got more political points so uh yes return their spy and refuse a payment this, oh, sorry. Elisario demands release of spy. Sorry, folks. I'm not really explaining this very well today. Um, I don't want to go any higher into commerce. Like, I, I can't. I just don't think it's... Like I say, you know, the commercial sector is important, but what do we get from private careers? That's a population happiness bonus. That's pretty cool. But I don't think we've really got problems with happiness, right? Apart from this, you know, the, the problem that we had here, mind you, we've got worker happiness issues, but that's not going to come, that's not going to be helped by commerce. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the private economy bonus is good. I do like that one. Yeah, they're building sewers. They are building quality of life stuff, and I, I know, I, I do like that. Once we, once we actually get the power back on, we'll be able to, you know, really, really boost quality of life as well. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, we're doing well balancing these. Maybe going into fist might be good. Because I mean, we, what we could do is we could get fist up, 
drop commerce down. It's going to annoy everybody. The thing is, though, the more the the further down into commerce we do, out, sorry, the further out of commerce we come, the more we're going to annoy our people. That's the issue. Logical thought might be nice, but you need to get sixty for that. And I would like a spirit decor eventually, so I don't really want to go too high into mind either. This is a funny one. Um, I mean, I could just go all out into commerce. The problem is I'm missing out on uh, bureaucracy. And I think this bureaucratic bonus would be pretty important. And I like the tax bonus from enforcement as well. So I'm kind of, I'm hoping, I'm, I think I'm going to take this down. Let's try and get out of commerce now and drop it down. And if I lose some of the bonuses there, then fair enough. It's just, well, we have to go down a little way. See if we can get into trying to make some decisions that will get us the bureaucratic bonus and the, the tax bonus. Try, I mean, I've never done this before. I've never actually deliberately tried to go to climb back down the tree. Um, like these economy bonuses will be nice while they last and they won't disappear immediately. Uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll try to get government up. Pro I, I think I'd like that one first and then discipline. Um, and then we just, we'll just go, you know, maybe... I don't even need state companies, I don't think. Oh yeah, although well, draft workers is quite a good card, but yeah, I think I'll, I'll try and balance these two, and then you know we can keep commerce high if that's what we feel like we need to do. By the way, interestingly enough, this turn we did not lose money. We made a whole bunch of money from sales, uh, from sales tax in Port Royal, which I don't normally get. So I, I, I want to actually have a look at what what it was that we were. Where are we? Ba -ba -ba -bum. Where is the zone view? I'm being crazy. Organizations, no, that's not it. Not HQs. Ah, uh, sure, there was a zone by zone review. Uh, a zone by zone report. Let's do that one. MTHs, HQs, regimes. Am I going mad? I'm sure there was a, a zone report. Detailed overviews. I am going absolutely crazy. All right, let's just have a look at it in uh, through the assets here. See if we can figure it out. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you can see it. I can't remember how you do this now. I'm. Being, I'm. I feel like I'm uh, going a bit crazy. I'm sure that there was formation types, treasury cash flow. Oh, there's a trade report. I suppose we can look, but this is. I actually looked at this before. This is not what I was looking for. Um, zone gained. Yeah, this is not the right one. This is for HQs. I'm sure, there was something that broke down things by uh, by your by your zone, but I guess I'm I'm just missing it. Profile victory models formation feats and bonuses. Um, no. Okay. All right. Whatever. Yeah, it's difficult. I don't know what it what it was that they were selling. Um, yeah, look at this. Wow, they they spent a lot of money. So they were buying assets. Buying assets. What did they buy? Oh, okay. They must have built those sewers. I think that must be what it means. So they were buying. They actually built the assets this turn. Uh, they still got a fair. They've still got a fair amount of money in the economy in Port Royal here. Oh no, they're not. They only got sixty-one. I think what we should do is raise the taxes a little bit. Like I, I was just examining a game save from someone for my advisor series, and um, he was running with fifty percent tax. And I saw somebody on. Somebody made a comment on War of the World saying that, you know, you can just basically raise tax indefinitely. And I just don't think that's true because I've tried that. And then you end up, you end up just with no, they don't build any, any stuff. I mean, you can, I guess, I guess you can, but I think it, I'm sure it starts causing population happiness problems as well. If you do that. Um, so I suppose if you're running autocracy, you can just tax them through the nose. That said, I think, I don't think there's going to be a big problem here with us raising the tax rate. If we can, um, we're going to have to, did I completely defund my interior council as I often do yeah they're only getting nine bureaucratic points look so uh, let's go to the secretary Roger that. let's put a little bit more into model design now we've got someone in there 
Hang on a minute. I thought I completely switched this over. Oh well, never mind. Let's put just a little bit more in there. Yeah, I thought I'd drop this right down. I don't need that much in model design. I really want most of it, most of it going into the Economic Council. Um, let's put a little bit more in the Interior Council for the time being, just until we've got some more tax cards. Uh, that's going to be it, I think. Uh, we don't need, really need to do much movement. Strategic planning-wise, I think we're just going to try and go for Cortez, which means we need to court the uh, Maritime Trading Houses a little bit. Now, yeah, until we've... Let's get this zone sorted out first, and then we'll figure that one out. Okay, round 51. Uh, okay. Heimdall Brian has started an auction. Okay, this is one that we really want to try and have a go for, but I, I don't think I'm going to have enough money. Now, we could try to scrape some cash together for it, uh, depending on how much they're looking at. Like, these guys want money as well. Typical. Let's have a look. Uh, zone orders. Yeah, so the governor of Manti... I think oh, we still haven't got enough political points. We didn't get many political points there. What happened, I wonder? We just got 15. 70 are given by default. Um, 47 PP provided 7 PP. So 47 PP points provided 7 PP. <laughs> this is because we're not applying very much, I think, to the Supreme Command Council. Also, we've got... Did I put... A, yeah, I seem to remember putting a leader in that wasn't that good. Um, yeah, he's not this guy. I think we probably should put a better supreme command command council guy in here. Uh, the other thing is, of course, is that we've got our we've we've had to drop down the the energy. Right. What I, what I want to know is what is not getting what is not getting energy here. Looks like it might be food. Um, this is a problem. I want I need to get rid of this um, this manti zone as soon as possible. Like having it right next to Port Royal. Yeah, because look, this is a very small degraded a or, uh, AF. That's actually in Manti itself. So we're we're losing our we're losing our industrial points as well. Oh no, we're not. That's going to go back to the SHQ, I guess. <sighs> what is okay? Let me ask a question, and I'm going to ask it of you guys as well. And then, what is the d downside to me actually leaving this zone here? Is there one? I mean, what is to what is to send you no know, to stop me from just keeping this? I guess the fact that I mean, you know, you could actually get more assets up, but then you're better off, probably better off having those people in Port Royal. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Why is this an, like a unincorporated as well? Well, that's another thing that I need to probably fix. Uh, we've already got zone orders up, so let's um, incorporate it. Give it some, give it some uh, public credits. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I'm trying to think what, how is this gonna, is this gonna affect things in a bad way? And I, I don't really see how it could. I guess you know, we are splitting our population a bit, but we do get some level one assets up. That's kind of interesting. This sort of leaves the, you know, what's to stop you from just banging a load of zones in like this? Like in some kind of like Civ 3 style city spam. Who knows? Apart from the fact that it's just, you know, I just don't like doing stuff like that anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah, we can't get into those mountains. You can get the dirt road up here though. Um, so we can actually... Yeah, next turn we should be getting... We should be able to move those guys here then. See if we can push these guys out. Well, there's a lot. Oh, we lost one of our GR troops. That might be a bit ambitious of us. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of troops, that's why. There's a whole bunch... There's a whole... Legion of them, let's say. Yeah, we can't help from this side. We'll have to try and get in down this way. 
Uh, okay, well, I, I want to push those off though, um, landing union. They certainly are a landing union. They're living up to their name, without a doubt. Um, probably want to get these guys, this HQ a little bit closer now. And tanks to replace too. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we need to actually make one, don't we? We have to build one first. That's how we work with mo with non-infantry models. Nope. There we are. Yeah, back down to zero experience with that one. Obviously, you lose the crew as well. It's not just the gun. Okay, uh, national decisions. Militia wants extra funds. Um, I don't know. Do we care about militia at this point? What's our militancy level? Low, I guess. Forget where it is we see that now. It's usually here, isn't it? So I guess we've not got any militancy at all. Is that right? Loyalty's 99. Yeah, usually we see militancy here, don't we? Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've got no militancy in Port Royal, so... I don't know, I guess we could give them some credit. I don't think I really want to spend that. The problem is, it's going to it's going to annoy these guys. And I want... I kind of I kind of need happy leaders at the moment. Let's just see what their um, loyalty relation is. Yeah, the natural relation point's 98. So we can probably make this and then, you know... I don't want to spend the money, to be honest. A uh, new organisation. We can't do this yet. We can't do this because we just don't have... We don't have the political point, uh, the bureaucratic points until we've got, until we've actually managed to break into the energy techs that I need. Uh, let's have a look at the economic council priority. Yeah, we, we've still got to, we'll just put it even more into discovery. We've just got to get this done. Uh, minor work is striking halfway. Okay, here's the, op here's the opportunity to start moving towards democracy a little way. Just seven credits though, man. Oh. I'm going to do it though. I think because... Like we've got, we've gone into meritocracy. We've got what we wanted out of it, which was operational command roles from martial tournaments. Um, administrative competence would be good, but I, I think I'd rather have the engaged polit politicians thing now, especially while we've got no power. Maritime uh, trading house is offered by IP in halfway. Uh, I th I'm going to say yes here. Yeah, let's do that. That will pay for the um, for the decision we just made. Uh, Heimdall Brine. So. Let's see if we can get. Let's bid fifteen hundred. Oops, fifteen hundred credits. See if we can get that. Um, I don't know. I should have probably looked before just to have a look at Heimdall Brian. Yeah, they've got one. They've got one shareholder. So one. They've only got one other share out. These guys. Prob if we if we buy a share in them and we win it, then this. These are probably a, a, a pretty important maritime trading house because they're they're on this side as well. This is all Heimdall Brian here. And yeah, they can get us up here. Look, over here, up here. So yeah, they they could be quite important. All right, we are a little bit low on money. Um, I might need to sell some stuff now. Uh, look, see how you know I've been waiting for what rare metals to go up. They've really gone up in a big way. They've gone up in a big way. So, uh, but we can only sell. The problem is we can only sell ninety one at that price and I'm tempted to just sort of hold a little bit let's just look at the price index again now rares are the orange one this I'm not going to be looking at the wrong one this time <laughs> so yeah rares have jumped up let's buy a few let's see what happens to the trade price if we just buy a handful I'm interested to see what let's get ourselves like I don't know let's sell like 20 and see what happens to the oh, tra the uh, sale the Sale price. Um, if it drops drastically, right, then we know, like, you know, I mean, maybe I should just do this. But I'd, I'm kind of interested to see how, how that price changes if we just buy a, a small amount. We might have missed on 
missed the opportunity to make a lot of money there. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll just grab it while it's cheap. Oh, while, while the price is good, sorry. Uh, we can also sell sell some food. But we are going backwards in food. Now, that won't be, that won't be happening for long because we will get up. Yeah, let's let's get let's sell some food while we can. Uh, fuel, I don't dare, dare sell because I don't know when we're going to get some more. I've just seen that we've got a bunch of colonists as well, which we should probably send over here. Um, yeah, I, I do you know what we could actually colonize. Hang on a minute. We've got colonists, right? Oh, we've got no logistical points. Why? There are no road here. Okay, we've got a road, but there's no logistical points. Uh, why is that? Could be that all the, the truck stations are sending everything down there. Uh, okay. Strange. Do we need to send some pull points here? I don't. I wouldn't have thought we'd have to do that manually. But okay. Let's just try and pull some pull some logistic points there. I don't know. I don't know why that's doing that. A bit strange. Um. Okay. Anyway, let's roll the turn, folks. Okay. Round fifty-two. Lots of worker privileges cards. We might be able to. I might actually play those. Um, our bid of fifteen hundred credits failed. LSRO paid four thousand. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're we're we are not able to do that. Elisario are um, outbidding us on this. This is um this is a problem. It's a real problem. Got a lot of credits, but we need to we need to start playing this game. This you know maritime trading house game pretty quick. Um, I might just move these guys in here. Okay, yeah, we could do that. Okay, so we've got these guys mostly... Oh, no, we can't invade El Elisaria here. Looks like they've moved up this way a little. Oh, what have we got now? Let's just go and figure out what's, what we've got here. Let's raise, a, raise some machine guns. Oh, we can't. Why not? No logistics. Um, oh, I see. We're not getting any logistics points through because we're sending some here. Okay, let's get these guys in as colonists. Let's get 1500, is it what we need for our asset? Um, what happened to all the assets in Manti? What? Okay. Um, were they disbanded? What the devil is going on? So I've just sent a bunch of colonists over here, but now there's no need for them to be here because they're doing nothing. Um, this is very confusing. Yeah, we and we can't afford any bureauc bureaucracy either. Yeah, and we we did. I was hoping to make a breakthrough that turn as well. Um, I I can't. I feel like the game is just spitting on me now at this point. This is why you've got to not make don't don't do what I do. Don't be Ben and miss miss your power text. This is a a schoolboy error that is very very bad for your game. Very very bad. On a scale of one to bad, it's very bad. Okay, we got some um, we got these guys up here. I don't know why that why those dis disbanded. I don't know if they were so damaged they just disappeared, or maybe that they were just. They degraded because they had no workers. I don't know. I, I I don't know how that works, but that's very very confusing. Um, let's just get. Obviously, we can't get any more pull points here because we've now got logistical issues. I guess we've we've got too many troops over here. I, that's the only thing I can think of that's going wrong. So. And we got a but look again. We've got a bottleneck here. Now, I, 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 I'm going to blame myself here because I think this is because I put too many custom pool points this way. But we've got a bottleneck here and we've got excess points going out that way. So, 
yeah more more logistical confusion i i get the impression i'm never going to understand this system like i just i feel that it's not something that you can actually understand or it's beyond me i'm just not intelligent enough and i'm not stupid okay uh what can we do here I don't really know. Uh, I feel we should probably get some troops in at halfway there. Let's get that, get that unit there. Uh, we can't do anything here. Let's just see. Let's have a look at the price index. Yeah. Okay. Like it. Uh, those those prices dropped down. Now I bought seven hundred. Sorry, I, I can't remember how many I bought. I think it was 98 I bought. I think it was, wasn't it? So, you know, like the price is still 5.15. That's kind of interesting. Let's wait for it to go back up again and we'll sell some more. I mean, we made a whole bunch of credits doing that. Uh, we didn't lose that many rares. Um, although, we the, uh, rares are kind of precious for us because we haven't got another... We've got no more access to them. Wow. All right, folks, I'm going to end the episode here. This has been a, kind of a bit of a weird one because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with Manti. And what sh I should do with it. Like I sent a, bun a bunch of colonists there. But I'm now thinking that maybe that's, you know, maybe I just reabsorb it. But what, so if I, re let's say I spend 53 political points and reabsorb this back in. What What's to stop another maritime trading house, could just, uh, sorry, uh, stop another regime just dropping this on here. <laughs> it seems like a bit of a weird one. And the problem is as well, like I'm going to have to build quality of life buildings in all of these now. So I, I do think it is going to be a matter. I think what I'm going to do is let's just get some political points. Oh, we've not got a card. So I have to wait till next turn then. I think it was 54, wasn't it? Um, let's just call this governor. Wrong guy. There we are. Diesel Fluorman. Yeah, we need 58. All right, folks. I'm going to end the episode there anyway. Uh... Let me know what you think in the comments. If you've got any answers to the conundrums that I came across in this episode, please let me know because, you know, I'm, uh, I've got a big question mark. In fact, I've got about 15 big question marks floating around my head at the moment. Thanks, guys. Take care.